Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. And I have another Pandora unboxing for you from their summer sale. But before we open this, I wanna show you what I picked out at my local store. So we'll go in order of what caught my eye first. And first is Olaf. This is the Olaf dangle. And he's got that little carrot nose on top. And then his eyes, I kind of wish Pandora did black enamel eyes like they did the little buttons on his front there. But they didn't but over time they will oxidize a little bit darker his bail is just that raised beaded detail with one cz right in the center and you can see his hallmark on both sides so there he is with his little arms crossed behind his back and let me just show you the back of olaf here isn't that adorable how pandora just recreated that pose for him and another fun detail from this Olaf charm is how his body can move side to side. And that was something I wasn't expecting, but I think that's just a nice little extra touch. So this is my second Olaf charm that I have in my collection from the Frozen movies. The first one I have on my snowman winter bracelet. You can see Olaf there in that double disc dangle. And I really like this one. I think the enamel work on the disc underneath is just so beautiful. And I think this one was retired last year and now this Olaf is retired this year. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be adding Olaf to this bracelet. Oh, actually take a look. You can see his little teeth there. Isn't that cute? I'm not sure if I'm going to be adding Olaf to my snowman bracelet or if he will end up on a Disney bracelet. So I will keep you updated on that. The next charm that caught my attention is this dazzling pink butterfly. And I did see this one available online for just a short period of time for 50% off, but then it sold out fairly quickly. So I was grateful to pick it up at my local store. And this is a thick charm. Look how thick it is. And there is the hallmark. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen the M1 before. That's new for me. And then it repeats the CZs on both sides. And it's not a spinner or a flipper. And I think Pandora did a really good job designing this cute little butterfly. And I think I know exactly what bracelet this one will be going on, but I will keep you in suspense. And this little beauty here is the pink daisy dangle and I really like the enamel work on this one. Do you see how you've got the light pink at the edge of the petals and then you just have those little spokes of dark pink and then the little bit of a blush tone in the middle between those two shades and Pandora did such a good job on the enamel work on this charm. And then the back of the charm is just fairly plain um, you've got the little heart detail and that's really sweet with the hallmark on top and I was so lucky that I got the last of the pink daisy charms that my local store had. So this one is a beauty and you can see the enamel work again has that light pink and then it goes to the darker with the CZ in the center. Actually, I'll just put the two of these charms side by side. And this is how they look together. So I think I have all of the daisy charms now. And here are all three that I have together, the purple, the teal, and the pink. And it was kind of a slow goal to slowly collect all of these daisy charms. The purple dangle was also in the 50% off sale, but I just didn't know where I would use it. So I decided to pass on that one. But this rose gold one is so pretty. So this is everything that I picked up at my local store. So now let's do the unboxing. And I just had a memory flashback when Pandora used to ship the orders in like the bigger boxes and then they switched to this more slim design. I do kind of miss the bigger boxes to be honest with you, but I understand that this is probably a little bit more cost effective. I'm just realizing that the box is taped closed. So I'm just gonna open up both sides. Um, that doesn't usually happen for me. Usually it's just open. Okay, now we Looks can- like this time I have everything inside one box rather than a whole bunch of little boxes and that's okay. And we're gonna start with this Murano right here. 
And I think I've mentioned that ordering Murano's online always makes me feel a little bit nervous. Especially if I already own this Murano in my collection. So I'm just going to take a quick look at this Murano. You've got the teal, that little bit of a lilac baby pink, and then a nice golden tone. And the core of this Murano, you've got the feathers. You've got three feathers on one side. And then on the other side, you also have another three feathers with the hallmark kind of tucked into the edges there. And that's such a nice fine detail that Pandora did. So before I compare that Murano to the ones that I have on my bracelet, I'm just going to pull out the other Murano that I have inside here because I did order a pair. So let's take a look at this one. It seems like I have a tiny bit of a size difference between these two. This one is definitely a little bit bigger but it's more the colors. I was curious about the colors and yeah, there's a little bit of difference. This one is a little bit deeper of a yellow. This one has more sparkle. And then this one definitely has more sparkle in that lilac pinky shade as well. So this spring and summer bracelet design that features the little fairy Bella bot right in the center currently has two of these feather Murano's on there. And these are the ones that I did handpick in person. So I'm just gonna quickly see how they compare. And actually, I think it's pretty good. If anything, I think um, having the three different sizes doesn't make it stand out and having all three together on a bracelet will be really nice. This one is also a deeper yellow tone, so it probably will match this one a little bit better. But I think when you have all four together on a bracelet design, it's really not gonna make that much of a difference. I also chose one that was a little bit sparkly, so um, this one will fit in. And then on the other side of the bracelet, um, this one here is so pretty. This one's probably my favorite out of all of these, just because of all that extra little sparkle bits that it has. These little feather Muranos are absolutely beautiful. And if you do like Muranos and you don't have these in your collection, I do highly recommend them because having these three colors on your bracelet design, it's so easy to design with these. And I also find they have that beautiful, watery, glowy look to them, especially when they're outside. Okay, so we're gonna pull out another little bag here and let me share with you what's inside. And I think you will all understand why I had to get a duplicate of this charm. So this is the little Pandora Panda. And of course I needed a second one of this in my collection especially when it became 50% off. This is one of those charms that was initially 30 and then Pandora increased the discount to 50%. And I'm so glad I waited because this is a pricey little charm. In Canada, it was $100, so I did get it for 50, but there is a lot of sparkle and the enamel work is just adorable. And look at the little paws on the panda and how he's got his front legs kind of tapping onto his paw back legs like that and then the back of this charm you just have a whole bunch of beautiful CZs and then a little panda tail. On this colorful and flowery bracelet design I did put my uh, first panda charm right in the center of this bracelet and I did intend to kind of create different looks and move this little panda around but I just love them on this bracelet design. So I've never been able to take them off of this design. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with the second one. So time will tell, and maybe this one will travel around to different designs, or maybe I'll find some other inspiration for him. But for now, this one is permanent and we'll see what happens. So we'll just move on and grab another charm out of here. And let me open up the little baggie on this one. They're all coming sealed. And this is the blue curved feather charm. It was just released last year. So I was really surprised to see this one in the sale. And this is also a duplicate for me, but it's such a pretty charm. It's reasonably priced. And I just think it might in the future be nice to have a pair of these just for balancing purposes but even if I don't put them on the same bracelet design I'm sure it'll make its way into a different design 
um, but here is the one that they sent me and I did notice when I was in my local store picking out my first one that there is some variation in this charm with the enamel work. So the one that's on my bracelet is definitely a little bit darker, but it's all within that same color tone than the one that they sent me. And there also is a little bit of variation in those little streaks and lines within the leaves themselves. And I chose one that was just a little bit deeper in color, but I think this is such a beautiful charm. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be adding it to this bracelet design. So this is again my little fairy bot Bella design because opposite this little blue feather, right now I've got my little gecko. But if I feel like taking him off of this bracelet, um, I can always replace that blue color with the other feather charm. So it just gives me a little bit more possibilities having two. So we have one final item inside this box and I was so excited to see this included in the sale and it is a ring. And look how nicely Pandora packaged this ring within bubble wrap. So they're protecting it really nice. And of course the bag is sealed. And inside the bubble wrap, I have Ursula's ring. And I actually did get a fake copy of this ring. I bought um, the pendant and the ring on Poshmark and they were fake, so I returned them. But it did give me an idea of how beautiful this ring is. And the authentic version does not disappoint. The biggest difference um, that I noticed between the authentic and the fake one that I received is the authentic just has a little bit crisper lines and details, whereas the um, fake ones are just a little bit more rough around the edges. Like it doesn't quite have all the same extra attention to detail that Pandora does. And this is how the ring looks like on and it is a petite ring but yet it does still have some presence and I just think it is so beautiful. So this one was a definite must have for me in the 50% off sale. So I placed this order online because all of these items were initially 30% and then the discount got deep into 50%. And I didn't want to miss out because I had a good feeling that this little panda would sell out fast in addition to these charms. And I was right. I think um, these Muranos sold out first and then the panda. And I think the feather is still available. So this is all of the items that I have to share in this haul. And leave me a comment below. Let me know if you're having as much fun in the sale as I am. I think Pandora's summer sale is like the best sale they've had in a long time. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.